Well, it's not a stellar book of drives as per usual for Jack Trainer, but there's certainly some interesting runners at Common Angle on Saturday night, the Big Ten event program. I caught up with Jack to discuss his prospects. Well, Jack, looks like we're going to be in for a very chilly and wet afternoon. Yeah, it does. Um, my drives are spread out throughout the whole day, so I'm sure I'm going to cop every bit of it. As I said in the introduction, Jack, not your stellar book of drives, but some intriguing ones, including Blue Chip Delight in the second event, nice to draw in gate five, but back from a long spell and for you. Yeah, that's right. It's probably not um, the best book on paper, but uh, all of them deserve to be there at their own right. And uh, with the good stake money now on a Saturday night, I've thrown a couple in the deep end and um, just see where we're at. With Blue Chip Delight, I, I really like this horse. Um, he's just had the one trial from a long layoff for Brad Abbott, and um, I've taken him home since then. Given him a couple of weeks um, to get used to my style of training, and uh, although I think he'll go a good race this week, I think he'll benefit a lot from the run, so he'll probably be one to follow down the track. Yeah, he's obviously got talent prior to his last at Cobham behind Boots Electric. His form back in Victoria was very strong. Yeah, that's right. He's got he has got really good form, and um, he was a stable mate of Boots Electric. And uh, the old trainer Nathan said that uh, at home there wasn't much that separated them, so that's pretty good signs. And um, obviously, though, just lacking a bit of race fitness. I expect him to be a lot better in the coming weeks. In the third, Jack, the reserve Stravinsky had really good form and then lost his way. Yeah, he did. He um, he also uh, lost a bit of his manhood since then as well, so he's come back gelded. Um, I think that's what was going miss. He wasn't concentrating and his mind was where it shouldn't have been, so obviously we gelded him. He's had one trial where I just didn't knock him around last week, and uh, although he's a reserve, if he does get a run, I think he's a really good show. The horse you do have in the race, drawn out wide Luke John, which doesn't suit him, but he is racing very well. Yeah, he is. He's, he's probably not the horse that he was when he came from New Zealand. There's no point sugarcoating that, but he now has got a really good lot of form next to his name, and he's earning sort of a bit of prize money for the owner each start, which I'm happy for. So uh, I think that this week was 2300 I think that will suit him. And if they do go hard, which I'm um, hoping that they do, he wouldn't be the sort of horse that would... He wouldn't surprise me if he followed the pace and, and run past a couple, albeit I probably don't say he's a, you know, a moral or a big winning chance. Race 5 on the card is the Group 1 Utrian Equine Alabar Farms two-year-old pacing Colts and Geldings final, the name virtually as long as the race. If it hasn't been made even more difficult with the powerful Emma Stewart stable, they've all drawn well. Yeah, they have. It's um, better their luck, isn't it? But... Uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be a really good race, Ed. Um, like you said, it makes it very hard when the three probably best horses have drawn two, three, and four. You're down for two runners, Jack. DY for David Ake and also Al Vinny for Nathan Purden, which has drawn wide. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to drive DY from the barrier. He's um, obviously got barrier one. He, I think he got home in 25-6, was his official last quarter last week. So he sort of pleasantly surprised myself and David. And um, although... Uh, Vinny was probably the better run of the two with, with 10 horses in between us. So I'm going to stick to the one that I've also been helping look after while David Aiken's not here. Yeah, we're talking about Petrarca, first responder and major celebrity, all for Emma and Clayton. So they will definitely be the ones to beat. It may be a case of trying to get that fourth or fifth prize money. Yeah, that's right. And I, I think from as long as he improves again, which I feel like he has at home, D.Y., he's a chance of filling that fourth or fifth spot. Where when you're racing for 175000 it's good money. And, you know, as we've seen many times before, if some bad luck or something goes amiss, you're in the hot f hunt for a bit more. So I'll take that one draw any day. At least from gate one, you're closer to the action. Yeah, we sh you should say shouldn't shouldn't be able to stuff it up, but I can't guarantee that. But yeah, it do definitely does make things a lot easier. Over to race six, the consistent pitch perfect, nicely drawn in gate two, but it is a very strong event. Yeah, it is. It's obviously quite strong. All the better horses have drawn out wide, but uh, on the fence, he actually goes quite well. This horse, and I, I was really happy with him last last week. He his last hundred meters was really good. Um, he was sort of wide and just kept coming, so he's sort of a real rough place chance if things go his way up the fence. You've certainly got BK Spoy going exceptionally well. Another very impressive win last week. What's your thoughts on Brave U Kelly? Yeah, um, well, Jack Brown has been in a bit of trouble. He's not meant to beat the boss, but he um, he did. And uh, no, she's really good, really good mare. Um, BK, she always tries, and she's got that really good speed. Um, Brave U Kelly on face value, I was a little bit disappointed, probably because I've got such a big opinion of her. I just felt like she raced a little bit flat up the straight. And um, in turn, I'm going to give it race spacer runs now two weeks. But I expect Brave U Kelly to be a mare that goes right through the grades. And um, yeah, it, although being, I'm probably being a tough marker saying just beaten in 150, but it just shows what opinion I have of her. And I think I can get a better than that.
Is she still a work in progress? Uh, she is. She, her menders were perfect the other day. I was really happy with that, and she, she travelled really good in the run, and she just felt like she was the winner the whole way until I pulled her out, and she just sort of plateaued out a little bit, which uh, in her previous best runs in New Zealand and some of her track work is not like her. She's got a brilliant turn of foot. And I expect to, if she was at her best, I, I wouldn't expect BK to be able to get past her, albeit BK is a good mare. So, yeah, I, I'll just go and freshen her up for a couple of weeks. There's a good race coming up in two Saturdays' time on the 3rd of September, and I look forward to having her in that. Just on the apprentice, Jack Brown, he's going really well. He is. He's going really good. Um, he's got a Saturday night licence now, and he's already bagged a few winners, and he's starting to get some drives for some really good stables. So... Um, he's a really hard working little fella and he deserves everything he gets so I'm more than happy to put him on and I'm sure that he'll continue his success. Hope you have plenty of success too Jack. Cool, thank you very much.